Access to clean, safe water for household purposes has remained a challenge for most of the families staying in rural hill areas of Chigese sub region for over the years, as residents walk for several miles using more than an hour in search of safe water for drinking. These families spend hours each day walking, collecting and carrying clean water from far away water sources, with the majority traveling for more than four miles to access safe water for drinking, washing, cleaning as well as cooking, where this amount of time people spend on water collection has hindered their ability to work and effective studying for the learners, hence affecting the economy. When I was growing, where well, I grew up from my village, whenever I would go to fetch water, a pack of food. Because you would go, reach down, first eat, after eating, Kalejil can too, back home. The serious shortage of clean water in the rural areas, especially to the homes in the hills of Lubanda district, has pushed many communities to share water sources with animals, a thing that has exposed them to waterborne diseases, such as worm infections, among others. According to Ginisha Tibachejize, a resident of Ruto Mampung Parish Hamu, sub county in Rwanda district, they use about three hours to access clean water from a river that flows through the sub county, adding that because of the distance, they are unable to carry a 20 litre jerry can. Tibachejize continues to say that in some instances, they have failed to prepare food because of the lack of water. <laughs> Tiwatajiza excavated a local water collection pit to store rainwater during the rainy season for household use, though he suspects its water to have been a cause to some diseases in his family. Also in the same area, the managing director for Kealing Hearts organization Prosper Nwamanya says that the lack of enough water has exposed them to infections such as jiggers and that the school uses about 10,000 shillings daily on fetching water and where they are unable to pay and in need of a lot of water, teachers together with the learners are used. He adds that this has much affected the school's regular activities and spending such a high percentage of earning on water reduces overall household income and limiting opportunities to build savings. But now we are, we are having someone who, who we are hiring, paying him 1k for jerry can. And in a day, we use 8 jerry cans of water. So you see, so which means for, for a day, we use 8,000 to fetch water. But in our classrooms, you see, they are not spent. It. Then without powering in water, you know, some, some people can develop jiggers, jiggers into their, their feet. When the, the sun is too much, we can send the pupils to go and fetch water. And that has been a big challenge. We, we find that from, from morning hours up to, uh, up to 10, 10 a.m., so the, the pupils miss all the lessons. Access to safe drinking water in rural areas remains a challenge that has called for joint efforts from a cross section of stakeholders to save the plight of people from contracting water related diseases, among other problems. In 2019, Africa Water Solution, in partnership with the Water School in Canada, launched a water and sanitation project aiming at providing access to safe water and promote hygiene in households located in hard rich areas in Rwanda district. And so far, 300 rain harvest tanks have been constructed in the district. <laughs> That he used to work. The Hamuga Subcounty LC3 chairperson, Stanislav Tumwesi J, appreciates the establishment of the rainwater harvest tanks, saying that because of the hill line of the area, they have been facing a challenge of moving a long distance to access clean water. Residents adding that these tanks will help them to save time to do other works. <laughs> Babine chizibu chamezi kushangu mundu, araruga 
araza hamujira shahe mwe akarugo hushahina kuza kuteka cha mushana ukashanga yaza kuza mu siri kuhinga ziri sha mushana zumunana so entasa ya makagito ya irinje konka kuba turetere agamatanka gamizi during the inspection of these tanks in the district earlier this month, Lubanda district leaders led by the district LC5 chairperson Stephen Kasiaba, the RDC Lilian Telaho, and the chief administrative officer Alex Quizela asked Africa Water Solutions and the partners to expand the water project to more villages where access to clean water is still a challenge. We still want to beg that if resources allow, we expand. It's our people, we have a collective responsibility to help our people cannot help themselves. Even the Bible says it. I want to thank you because you are transforming the area and it is our area. Much as you are helping us, for us we are here. We are the sons and the daughters of the soil. We appreciate the services you are giving us. The cow has elaborated everything. How you came, what you have done, and exactly what you are doing. And we pray that we continue with you to other sub-counties where you are not. Approximately 19% of Ugandans have access to streams, ponds, and unprotected hand-dug wells as sources of drinking water. And safe water is one of the largest barriers to eradicating extreme poverty in rural areas. Nobody Gamachi, Portuguese Television. We are so appreciative of the collaboration. As people have said before, we cannot do it without your support. And we are so, so grateful. So I will be brief there and uh, just say... Uh,